Well, I am cooking greens, garlic, beans, or greens and beans. Beans and greens is as I grew up with it. And it is a childhood favorite of mine. I can't explain it except I just remember being a small child. I hope my sisters are watching this today and see if their memories are like mine. It seems like their memories are never like my memories. I'm fourth in the line of five. But anyhow, the first time my mom made that, I was really small and you smell garlic and you smell onions and she used bacon, but I love Italian sausage. And then she adds these greens, you know, that to a child may not look very nice. And I, when they're big like this, I'll take the edges off. But anyhow, I've already cut the um, tips off. But anyhow, so you'd go in the kitchen and she'd say, get out. Um, and when dinner came, she ended up giving us like, I'm gonna say mac and cheese, you know, which was a staple or maybe who knows what. But all of a sudden when she wanted us to try something new, she wouldn't serve it to us. She used reverse psychology. She was so wise. She didn't know how wise she was. And um, so she would serve dad this big plate of something beautiful along with whatever she made and herself. And as a kid, you're smelling all this delicious food and you're thinking, well, what is that? You know, um, there's bacon, there's beans, there's all this good stuff. And so the, um, in our house, if you want to try something new, you just ask dad. Of course he'd say, cause they had this thing going on, probably a wink that if you want to try it, come on go over here and bring your fork or your fork or your spoon. So my memory is I went over there and I tasted it and I looked at mom like, <laughs> I want some of this. And of course she always made enough for seven people. And it's been my favorite ever since. And I, I want to hear from my sisters, but if you have a favorite meal that brings back such wonderful memories, it is, it, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. And this is one of them. And it's so simple. So what we have here, we have the greens. We're going to have, this is Swiss chard. It's very tender right now. Um, because it's late in the season, it uh, can have a bitter taste, but once it's cooked, it just gets very tender, absorbs all the flavors, which of course, my fresh garlic, and I have to show the braid that I got this year. It is wonderful. This is the soft neck. And if you watch the video, it's only because I really want the braid because look how beautiful it looks in here. I need to probably hang it on a wall so that not only can I get access to it, but anyhow, and soft neck, it braids and it stores the longest. This was harvested in July. And so what we do with the Swiss chard, as we also add, let me finish the recipe. So you have your Swiss chard. You're going to have about um, a half of an onion, three quarters of an onion and a tablespoon or more of garlic. And this is my fresh garlic. I'm using two sausages, Italian sausages. The casings will be removed. We'll throw the beans in and then a cup of shells. Um, you, want a, you want a pasta that will pick up the sauce and all of the ingredients in one bite. And I like to eat mine with a spoon. You can serve it over, you know, your thin spaghetti, uh, anything you want, but it's, I find it best with little shells or uh, little pig's ears or cheddar pasta. And then we have, I like using sharp provolone. And now you can use Parmesan cheese, Asiago cheese, um, but sharp provolone has such a nice pungent flavor. That's the last thing we add is the cheese. So to start with, we've got the water going. I'm going to add some salt and I'm not going to put my pasta in until I like to really salt this. The pasta does not go in until we start cooking the sausage. So let's get chopping. I've already got the onions ready to go, the garlic. When you're using your garlic, this is one of my little heads and I've got a couple nice size heads, but you just want to open that up, take it apart. I have probably about three cloves to get the skins off. Just smush it. You're probably all cooks, but if you aren't, it's an easy thing to do. Take the skins off and then you just give it a nice, I like mine finely chopped and a little more garlic won't hurt my recipe, but that's about a tablespoon and a half of garlic. And this is real tasty garlic. So we'll put that in the dish. And that was growing in my garden. I'll put these aside. I'll finish. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish with this last bit of onion. Why not? So not a whole onion. I have three-fourths. What I'm making will probably serve three people. Reg and I you could eat the whole pan, but um, we uh, save a little bit so that I can have a lunch. I'm, I like it cold. I like it hot. I just like this meal, and it's so easy, so delicious. If you're health conscious, of course, you can't beat Swiss chard. It's full of antioxidants. It's full of great vitamins. We'll add that to that. So it's, it is a yellow onion. Um, I didn't grow those. And let's chop up our shard. I like just to roll my shard up. This is one of the last things that go in because you want it to wilt. Get it nice and chopped. And I, after I cut it, I brought it in, I washed it, look how nice and crisp. And then I put it in the refrigerator, wrapped in a towel, just to bring it back to freshness after you rinsed it. And cut those little tips off, like I showed you. And in the summer, with those big pieces, if they're six, eight, ten inches, you want to take the um, rib out, which we showed you to do that, because that can be pretty tough. I like this better than kale. I like it better than spinach. This goes in all of my soups, salads. It's just my preference. I find kale a little too tough and strong. This isn't strong at all. And even though the package says a little uh, bitter, I don't find it bitter. But I I cut mine at least once a week through the summer. And uh, I think, I mean, Red, you like it. Mm -hmm. It's his favorite. Maybe not his favorite. <laughs> I, I tend to make Reg think everything's his favorite. Anyhow, so that's done. What I also do with my sausage is I take the casing off. I don't like casing. People cook when Reggie cooks this. He does a great job. He'll grill his, which gives it a nice smoky taste. Um, but I like to take mine out of the casing because I like to cook it up in the skillet with a little bit of olive oil. Let me get that turned on, warmed up. Um, here we go. Get that. We want that about a medium high. And I like to add just about uh, maybe a tablespoon of olive oil into the pan when I'm cooking the um, sausage links because <laughs> they I get they get cooking, they get put into a container, and then you put your vegetables in, and you'll see the process, and it will smell so good. Let's get this back here going, and I'm going to set a timer because the shells take about eight to 10 minutes to cook. This whole meal should be done in 10 minutes. Um, and the sausage, I let it, once my hand, pan heats up, you just wanna brown it and then scoop the meat out and you'll see what I'm doing. Let's get it hot. And it'll just brown. It goes in here, we throw all the vegetables will come over. We'll saute the onions, the garlic, <clears throat> excuse me and the other thing I don't do I do not drain the beans I like the beans I like the broth on the beans because it gives us a nice thick texture and uh, here we go and smell the olive oil let me get the water boiling a little more back here get ready for the shells all right we'll get this in the skillet and get it all broken up and like I said, these I like to use two pieces for Reg and I. That, like I said, this will feed three people. Could feed four, um, but I'm a big I'm a big eater of this. So we're just going to break this into small pieces. And you can double the recipe if you're a family of six, or if you're going to entertain. I would I would serve this if I had a restaurant. I would serve this. Would you? <laughs> right. I would serve my version of it. Ah, you would serve your version of it. You like yours grilled. I know. Okay, now I'm going to watch this clock and watch.
watch my B. This isn't beef. This is a pork sausage. And you can see it browning. It'll brown up on one side, I'll flip it. And then once I flip it, let me get this off of here. We'll throw our little shells in. I just have a cup of shells because um, that'll double in size. And you'll see once we put it into our nice big bowls, with the cheese on top. There we go. It's cooking now. It smells so good. It's been cooking just about a minute. I was the daughter at the house. We were all made to learn life skills. There wasn't a choice in our house. And in I had an option of cleaning the one bathroom for seven people or taking care of the outside, doing the mowing, starting out with a bladed mower, siding, sickling. There were no weed eaters. Hoeing the potatoes. No, and you didn't like to clean the bathroom. No. I didn't want to clean the bathroom. I didn't want to iron the clothes. I still don't. No, you don't. <laughs> no. A gift to me. Reggie and I were just first married. And we've got just about another minute. And when this happens, the uh, pasta will go in. We're getting it cooked up now. Turn that down just a bit. And what was the gift to you when you were first married? <laughs> the gift was, I came home from work. I was working nights. And uh, I came home one night, and our bathroom was spotless. And I started crying. <laughs> I said, it's always been my job to clean the bathroom. Even when I worked in offices, that was part of my job. And he couldn't say no. I didn't want to get fired. But he said to me, if that made me that happy, and this was how many years ago? Probably 20. We've been married 28 years. And that probably was 26 years ago. And he has not missed. I could say he has not missed one night. One, he cleans it on Wednesday night. So if you want to come visit, come on Wednesday. <laughs> the bathroom will always be clean. But that was my, you know, that was my job at home. And my other sisters all had jobs too, but they liked doing the laundry. They liked, uh, you know, vacuuming, and they like cleaning the bathtub, or that wasn't me. Let me go outside, because then we had a pretty big yard, and my excuse was always, well, I've got to go mow, or I'm going to go sickle, I'm going to go scythe, I'm going to go do this, and uh, so then what you do while we're cooking. Anyhow, I was always an outside person, always am an outside person, and then you take your sausage, which is now nice and brown. You're going to leave that little bit of sausage um, taste, the little drippings in there. And I need to put pastas in. Let me set a timer for a timer. I'm going to do eight minutes and then test it. Oh, that's nine. We'll do nine. All right. Now in this, that goes there. Let me give that a little swish. I'm going to add a little more pasta. It's up to the cross. Yeah, that's going to make a big difference, right? <laughs> okay, so onions go in first. And we just want these to, these will take about a minute or two to get a little translucent. And I always like to salt my onions as I go, layer, layer, layer. 
I'm not a chef, but we do like to cook, both of us. And we like to, Reggie tries new recipes. I uh, I just like to eat the new recipes. I like the tried and true, the memories, and I'll try a few new ones. And watching cooking shows is delightful. I have had big gardens where I've grown everything and canned and moving in town, we actually tried to keep a garden one year out at my dad's big property where I grew up. And unless it's in my backyard, look how nice this is looking, Reg. Yeah, it's really Can nice. Can you see the, yeah, how it's nice. starting to brown up, starting to look translucent? So how you add the, uh, the garlic? The garlic. You're going to turn that down a little bit. That is hot. We don't want... We're going to add the garlic right about now. And grab that. Here it is. And you only let this cook about a minute until you can start smelling it. Smells great. I know. Till you smell until you smell the garlic, you don't want it to burn. Keep a good eye on your garlic. I can get a little whiff of that. It has about half a minute. This is cooking. Mm. Smell the garlic. Yeah. yeah. So. Now with this dish, everything you have on is going to smell like onions and garlic and sausage, and the house will smell that way. But that's what uh, candles and Febreze is for. And you just don't want to wear this tomorrow anywhere. We're going to give this another couple seconds, and then in goes the beans. The garlic being so minced, it'll get nice and tender. I, But I like cooked garlic. I like the taste of garlic. All right, onions look great. And now you just pour your beans in. Just like that. And you're going to add a little seasoning to them, not a whole lot, just a little. And I would add red pepper flakes, but that's not Reggie's gig, so um, just stir all that around like this. Let the beans cook a while. We're going to let them cook for a couple of minutes. And let them absorb the flavors of the onions, the garlic, sausage. And once these, I'm going to let them bubble a little bit. Then I'll add the sausage back in. Look how fast this is coming together. But see how by not draining, you've got this nice creamy looking sauce. Okay, I'm going to quit stirring for a while. Let that just get warm. That, let me give this a... Yep, cooking up. Put this over here. And I don't know, I think I need to, I'm going to shred a little more of this cheese. What we like to do too, this is the sharp provolone. And we also, once we take our food to the table, we sprinkle a little Parmesan, grated Parmesan on top. Um, because it just gives it a really nice, little more nutty flavor. There, that looks good. Okay, oh, here this. Stir. That bubble a little more. Yeah, now we just hope that the shells are getting cooked. That needs to warm up. And if I had some, if I had taken the time today to make some hard crusty bread, wouldn't that be delicious? Yeah, Dip good. that in the yeah. broth. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Eat that. But the Swiss chard, I didn't pull the plants up. I have um, left them around the pot uh, of the dwarf Alberta. And if they could get another growth, they like cold weather. Um, the weather doesn't look that bad for the extended forecast. So we may see a few more tender shoots that on the um, plants 
that we might get a little left to put in maybe some Italian wedding soup, which would be delicious. Okay, this is at a full, nice boil. So I'm adding the sausage back in. And I want to keep this. Yeah, no, that. So we'll bring the sausage back in. Mm. Let that all get in together. And let's see how the pasta is doing. Now, it's only used a couple minutes. But the good news about gardening in pots. The Swiss chard is so easy. If you're a beginner gardener, that's what you need to do. You need to do anything that is simple, like Swiss chard, like the garlic, put a tomato plant in a pot. I'm fortunate my neighbor next door, he gardens his whole terraced areas, like my backyard is terraced. And he brings me, he brings all of his neighbors tomatoes and cucumbers and squash. And so it's easy to grow that in the backyard. But um, I... You know, I have my herb pot, which I'll get a little parsley here. My basil. Unfortunately, we've had a couple of really cold nights, and I didn't, didn't take it out of my herb pot. I thought about repotting it and bringing it inside, but I didn't, so I lost my basil. Um, but I do have parsley, and still have thyme, of course, up in that pot. And I still have some... Uh, 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 uh. Now it's, I still have some... Cilantro. 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 Okay, now here comes the reason for this video tonight is the shard. And you just put that in there and you'll be surprised. It just wilts right in. I'm, I think I'm going to make everybody believer of beans and greens when we're done. Put that right in there. Well, they just can't smell it. I mean, <laughs> I the, the people watching this video can't smell, smell it. how smell good. Like it. It I know. I'm going to put the lid on it so it'll steam it. There we go. We'll let it steam and in seconds. We have 40, says 45 seconds, and I this is eight minutes. I'm going to let this go hot. Mm -hmm. Probably every bit of a minute and a half more. Exactly. A minute and a half more. <laughs> I don't know how you know that. I don't. But look how green is starting to wilt. Yum, yum, yum. And I don't add any more salt or pepper. And there's still cheese. Lots of cheese to go on top of this. sausage. I do like Italian sausage. That is my timer for the pasta and we're going to go a couple more. Okay, cheese. When I add the cheese, I take the, I will take this off the heat and then add the cheese. That's just something I do. I'm going to get some Parmesan cheese out of the fridge. The sprinkle cheese. We call it the sprinkle. We call it the sprinkle cheese in our house. Get that off the counter. And I'm gonna do this. Put that over here. Alright. Now what you'll see is it looks like all of the liquids almost absorbed. And so I will put a little pasta liquid in there. Once I put the pasta in, taste my bean. Pop. Pop again. Everything's tender. Probably, probably won't double dip, huh? Get out of here. <laughs> Even though it's just you and me, it's just us. It's yeah, just us. I don't think anybody's going to come. But if you're if you're watching this and you're hungry, 
come over. I have gluten-free pasta. I have whole wheat pasta. If you're a Weight Watcher, there's zero points for that. We have the shells. I can put it on a potato. If you're a vegan, the other thing you can do is you can eliminate the bacon and the sausage. You don't have to do any of that, and it's still delicious. Um, and at the end, I would add a little bit of olive oil just because it'll give you a nice texture. But I am not, you know, we, we don't eat a lot of beef or chicken or, mm, okay, perfect. Now, what I do, set that there, move that, that gets turned off, that gets turned off. I like cooking with gas the best. I think because you can see the flame. And I just scoop my pasta out. Again, we already salted the pasta, water, and so the pasta will be nice and flavorful. And I'll give this a nice little stir. see I need to add a little bit of oh, good. do you, you don't think I need to add any more pasta water yeah. nope okay now off the heat and getting close sprinkle all that cheese I oh, may want to put a little more cheese in there what do you think oh well, we can always add parmesan ah <laughs> All right. Now, I when I make this, I drizzle on a little olive oil at this point. Okay. And you mentioned that. Yeah. So you mentioned. Because, look, it yeah. just adds to the texture. So, and a little nutty flavor, too. I like that part of it. So, it's all but done except for the, the eating. Well, I'll let Reg try it first. Oh, look at that cheese. <laughs> it looks oh I'm gonna do one more thing I want to get let me do this you do I do think it pays to put a little Parmesan and wait let me get a little parsley let me go right oh, hey Midge everyone needs their herb pot right by their back door I mean, Reg isn't a big parsley fan, but it just looks so much prettier. You make me sound awful. Here we go. Let me see, I'm not a fan of cilantro. I'm not a fan of <laughs> Do you want to, let me yeah, take I'm this. this I'm switching it over. This okay. looks really hot. Let's see Reg. Yeah. This Do you want a big spoon? It is hot. No, it looks a little hot. It is hot. It is hot. Mmm. Delicious. Delicious. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah. Nutty. And soft. <laughs> the sausage tastes good. Mm, yeah. Do you try? All right. Thanks. And we're going to share the same. The same. I want a piece of sausage. I want mm. the cheese. Mm. It is. Mm. You can you can taste the onion, a little bit of the garlic. Mm. And the Swiss chard, it is so, you you have to use Swiss chard in a beans and green. Thank you, Olga. Mm. Delicious. So try it. I will put the recipe down in the description. It took us all of, was it nine, ten minutes at the most. And uh, a meal fit for uh, family and fun. Thanks for watching Gardening on the Westwork, cooking in the garden, cooking not in the garden, but in the kitchen. We'll see you the next video. Bye.